Welcome back to uh, the channel guys. So tonight I'm going to be uh, looking at the 86 front end and doing the um, extensions on the tie rods and the lower control arms. So I'll um, give you a step to step um, clip as I do them. So I've got the uh, tie rod end in the, um, the vise. I don't know if you can see there, that scratch there from the end to end is 80 mil. Basically I thought, well that's pretty, pretty close cause it's, oh, could go in the middle. So it's at 90 mil. So if that's 90 to there, 90 to there, let's go in the middle. It's just undo that. Ninety mil to there, ninety mil there. So we'll go this one. Get the marker pen wherever I put it. That'll do. So we'll just measure again. So there to there, it's ninety mil. So basically, I'll just split it in half. As you can see, it's. 90 to there, roughly 90 to there. It's a couple of mil, but it's all good. So I'll uh, chop it and um, we'll see what we do. So I've cut it in half. As you can see, it's hollow inside. So I'll basically what I'll do is I'll just get a rod. <clears throat> we'll probably have one up in the shed, but for example purposes, um, well that might even do the job I'll basically just get a rod I'll extend it out 30 mil which is what I've decided <clears throat> and I will weld a extension into there and the other side into there and I'll probably actually just put a sleeve over it just to tidy it up so once I've cut the um, insert and the sleeve I'll, um, I'll be back so yeah, the two uh, tie rods are done. I've, um, like we've seen in the other video, they've got the solid rod inside with the sleeve over. And I have spot welded the rod to the um, steering rod and the sleeve to the that inside rod. So she's heaps strong there. And then I just did a few stitch welds, not pretty, but going on to the early car so she'll be strong enough she'll do the job so we just got to paint her up but I'm out of black paint so onto the LCAs so what I have um, what I had around the side of the house was a bit of 40 mil which is this here so what I was gonna do I was just gonna slit through there bring it in and basically recess it in there but should have measured this a bit snow should have measured this a bit better because it's just a bit, shut up it's just about spot on so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna cut another piece with this top bit that's about an inch and a bit long so that's like a flap and then i'm gonna belt the flap down into that cavity and i'm gonna weld it down there so i'll make one up and then i'll show you so you can see what i mean now so this little piece Try to do it one-handed. I should have done another flap on the other side, but it's all good because I've got a bit of flat bar. I'll do the same, but I'll just weld on a tag. So basically that'll fit. Get him. In like so. And we'll basically extend at 30 mil. So I'll, um, I'll tack him all up and then I'll give you a look. So they're done. Two extended LCAs. So basically I did the same thing on both of them. Um, I've welded them up underneath and top so she should be um, heaps strong enough. And we got the LCAs. So now all we have to do is um, fit them in the car. But that'll be uh, another episode. 
So thanks for watching. Um, I know it's a short one, but I thought I'd just give you some content. And hopefully with all the um, COVID-19 restrictions being um, eased, we can um, start doing more events in the autocross car as well as doing the um, going to the events up in Perth like burnout comps, um, oh, track racing at Barbagallo, Wanneroo, and um, Collie as well. We're going to be hitting the Collie track. So, yeah, we're going to get into as much as that as we can. Hi, right, guys. So, I was going to put it in another um, episode, but I'll push it into this one at the end. So, the uh, 86 front end is in the car now. I decided to do it now and do it on this one episode. So you can see in there the extended tie rod and the lower LCA. Um, the only other thing I had to relocate were the stabiliser holes, which was nothing major. Um, I'll do some fine tuning of that later on. So yeah, so that side's in and we'll go on the other side. This side's all in too, so once it's down the ground, I'll... Um, give you a look at what it looks like with the uh, lower controls, the extended ones and that. Um, but we'll do that when we do the tank, because I've got to pull the tank out. Um, we'll have a look, see where the leak is. So uh, I'm not sure where the leak is at the moment. Um, so what I'm basically just gonna do is once I, um, Yeah, once I have a look up underneath there and see what's uh, going on, we'll um, work out what we're doing. Uh, I've cut a cut the standard springs. We just took one coil out to drop the rear down a bit, um, just to see how she um, how that uh, changes or improves it, whichever. Um, I've got another set of these springs, so it's not a big drama if it's um, we got to do a different way. Um, yeah, just for laugh, it's got a Hilux diff in it. If anyone knows the K70s, their uh, Hilux discs are pretty good. I've got an R31 um, uh, diff in the uh, the other car, but this one's got the Hilux diff. It's an LSD diff, but uh, make it a bit funnier. It's like a yeah Toyota Corolla, Toyota Hilux diff with Subaru calipers. Go figure. Yeah, so that's pretty funny. Um, so yeah, so. Like I said before, thanks for watching. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And um, hopefully, we'll get a few more subs in and um, yeah, get the channel going. So, just a little bit on the end, I uh, walked outside. Soup, soup. Show everyone your nose. Where'd the sand come from? Where's the sand? Oi, what's this? Was that you? Was that you down there? Did you do that? It wasn't you. Was it someone else? What's that? Was that you? Was it? No, that was your hole. Look at this you, baby. Ooh. Was this your hole? Did you do it? It was you. It was you. I seen you doing it. Do it. You. You cheeky dog. Stop running around in circles. <laughs> no big dog. Alright. Say bye-bye, Snoopy. Bye-bye.